Welcome to the study of the book of Genesis. Noah entered the ark and it was closed and sealed. There was rain for 40 days and 40 nights and the whole world was flooded and the water continued to rise for a few more days. Then it started receding and the ark rested in Mount Ararat. So Noah sent out raven, then the dove, to test what, has, what is happening. And the dove at last came with the olive leaf, which, which was a sign of peace. So then Noah and his family came out of the ark and they built an altar and worshipped the Lord. They were grateful to God because the family was protected and God gave them an opportunity to start all over again. Then God gave Noah or God gave a covenant which was unique. The covenant is unique because it is a unilateral covenant. God made a covenant with the whole humanity and all living creature. So generally covenant has two parties or more than two parties. They all agree and they all sign and they all seal the agreement. But in this covenant, God made a unilateral covenant. So he did not expect anything from the other party. There were no conditions from the other party. So God was gracious to make a unique covenant, universal covenant for all living beings. The second thing about the covenant is, this covenant includes not only human beings, it includes all living creature. The birds, the animals, the creeping things, the fish, all are included in that. So the third aspect of the covenant is, it is promise. It has a promise. What is the promise? Until the end of the world, there will be seasons. There will be rain. There will be harvest. So everything will normally happen and God will not destroy the whole world by flood again. So that was the promise and the promise was sealed with a sign. God placed a rainbow on the sky. So that is a remembrance of covenant between God and humanity. So in Revelation we see God is seated on the throne. And the rainbow was there. So that means God always remembers this covenant with humanity when he spoke with Noah. So Noah's covenant is amazing. It is unique. It includes every living creature. It, is, it includes the promise of God. And it is sealed with the sign of rainbow. So we have to be grateful to this covenant and many other covenants we read in the Bible. May God bless us.